everyone, it's Mandy from Designs with Miss Mandy here, and today I want to show you a quick tutorial on how to access font alternates. So this is something that's really easy to do, but Illustrator keeps it a little bit hidden, and you might not know about it. So I thought I'd show you today. So as an example, I'm just going to type my name, Mandy with two E's, and then I'm going to go to the glyphs panel. If you don't have glyphs I'll automatically on your tool, on your toolbar, you can go to window, scroll down to type, and then click on glyphs and it'll open up. Um, and then what you'll need to do is highlight the letter that you uh, want to see the alternates for. And when you first pull it up, it'll probably look like this because it'll show all the alternates for the entire font, which is kind of hard to sift through. And so if you just highlight the letter that you want to look at and then go to alternates for current selection in the drop down menu, that'll show you more of what you're looking for. Now that we see this, we can double click on any of these alternates and it will change it for you. So you can go through and decide which one you like, play around with it. You can do the same thing with letters in the middle of the word, whatever you want. And so uh, another tip, uppercase letters uh, tend to not have as many alternates, so sometimes if you're designing something it's good to uh, check out some of the lowercase letter options because they can have cooler alternates that might fit better for what you're looking for. Just as one other example, I'll show you, and this was a font called Evelyn, by the way. Another font that I've really loved recently is called Braveheart. They have some great alternates. It's already a beautiful typeface, great script font. Um, but when you go to the glyphs, you can see they have some of these huge, big swashes, and I just love it. It's so beautiful. So you can kind of just go and go through, play with it, see which which uh, shapes work best, and there you go. So there you go, that's how you access font alternates, and thanks for watching.